Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And Masters of the Universe Revelation is going to get Savage. They're introducing Savage He-Man to the show, so we know He-Man's coming back, but they're also getting savaged by Twitter because people don't give a shit. Yeah, well, I mean, they never should have split it into two parts. Apparently, according to someone we know who talked to Netflix, uh, they did it because of COVID. They should have just waited until November to release all of it. Um, yeah, and I think I think that's the problem. This is kind of like the situation with The Last Jedi, where you're only as good as your last episode. Mm -hmm. And, you know, where they left Masters of the Universe Revelation, spoiler, Spoiler is that He Man double dies. Adam well, double dies. You don't know if Adam's dead the other part, but clearly he is, or whatever, something's going on here with Savage He Man. But um, it, it's just, I mean, beyond all that, Tila's still shit. Yeah. She's not yeah. Tila. Uh, Sarah Michelle Geller's voice acting is shit. She doesn't sound like Tila. I don't know if they thought, well, maybe people would watch if they put Buffy on it. I don't know. I mean, I can see, I can see her yeah. voice acting other characters and she'd be fine. Tila's not one of them. I could just see this meeting. It's like, okay, who? we need some geek cred. Let's get uh, that Kevin Smith guy and Buffy. Yeah. <laughs> That'll bring all the nerds to the yard. That's right. They All all, the, all those guys lost stuff are Buffy. They love Buffy. Uh, so it didn't go as well as expected, of course. And, you know, we caught, uh, caught Kevin Smith lying in 4K. Yeah. Um, which I wish, you know, if he had just not said anything. If he just can't stop talking, I mean, they were going to find out. I don't understand what we thought the end goal was going to be. If you knew it was that way, and you knew people were going to lose their shit when they found out, why lie about it and continue to lie? Because it was going to come out when it released. I mean, heck, even Grace Randolph called him out. Yeah, she's like, you never should, you know, regardless of what you think about the show, you shouldn't have said, hey, this is not what happens. And then, like, you know, a couple months later, everybody finds out that's totally what happens. Yeah. So in this, we got Skelegod. And, and Savage He-Man? Savage He-Man. So we're going to talk about this because they're going all Hulk with Savage He-Man. Then there is a backstory uh, with Savage He-Man going back to the origins of the line. But at this point, I've lost all excitement for that. I have zero, less than zero. I figured it out. Hmm. There's a new cologne from um, Dior. I don't know if it's new, but it's a cologne they keep pushing. Those at Savage. Savage. So maybe it's a tie-in. Savage He-Man. Yeah, let's call him Savage He Man. It sounds fancier. So, we're going to talk about, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 236,000 subs. Woohoo! Uh, thank you for the there. support. Uh, thank you, Kevin Smith, for all the subs that we got, you know, when this, this thing broke. And thank you for having Skeletor have a Hordak moment. Oh, yeah, he's got his face on his crotch. And it lights up. His noonies are glowing. <laughs> So I got to give a hat tip to Anime Hunter, who tagged us in on this. Uh, I didn't even realize that the uh, trailer promotional images had dropped because I don't give a shit about this Pretty show. Pretty much, yeah. I'll tell you what I do give a shit about is is the new He-Man. Yeah. The CGI, the new, new He-Man. The CGI mm -hmm. He-Man, which was uh, way better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. And uh, I liked it so much I bought the damn toys. Yep. And the toys were better than I thought they were. The toys be were very much like the '80s toys, you know, for kids. They were made to be like that. They were, you know, easily, man you know, maneuverable and manipulated and that kind of stuff. That sounds wrong, but you know what I mean. If you're a parent, yeah, they even have the. Uh, they're not as as articulated as the Masterverse figures, but you know, they got that punch. You know, you pull back on the waist mm -hmm. and they punch, and and uh, you know, they're heavy. Uh, they're they're good toys. They're so, good yeah. for kids. Yeah. Uh, bought bought the toys because I like this show so much uh, after being disappointed by Revelation. So uh, again, hat, hat tip to Anime Hunter, who also put images up of the Savage He-Man and- uh, Oh, Sa and Dead Orko? And Dead Orko. Is it Zombie Orko? What is this? I don't know. Just zombie, zombie. Maybe Orko's coming back too. Maybe, you know- Well, what, I, I said I thought they'd bring Orko back. They will probably reset everything, but we're, we're guessing that like by the end of it, He-Man's not going to be the same He-Man. I'm trying to figure out what the hell this it, Orko, zombie Orko. Notice his colors are like ragged and he doesn't look as bright and he looks kind of like his eyes are like, oh my God. I've seen some shit. It's yeah. It's called Revelation. Well, look, he's pissing himself. <laughs> it does. <laughs> He's pissing crystals. That's kind of like cats, and you have to get them special urinary cat food. Yeah. I love, oh, he's way, I love this picture. He's waving at everyone as they walk away. Wait, he's by himself. And what's between Tila 
and Orko and who else? Man at arms, I think. And he's waving goodbye. He's waving goodbye. So, you know, before we before we get into this any any further, this is probably what they're referencing. I, I think you're right, yeah. Because yeah. it was in the comic before, yeah. So the original origin of He-Man going in the, the way back machine. Yeah, so there's precedent for this. Yeah, the original mini comic, it wasn't a comic, it was just a book. But He-Man was basically just some rando barbarian that walked out of the woods and got the mm-hmm. power of Grayskull. There was no Prince Adam. Uh, that came later. That was Filmation. And uh, there was no secret identity. He wasn't Superman. He was basically Conan, a blonde Conan the Barbarian. Right. He just walked out of the woods and started beating the shit out of Skeletor. That was the original. Because plan. who wouldn't beat the shit out of Skeletor? Yeah, I wouldn't because I, I like Skeletor. I know you do. <laughs> so. He just needs a puppy. He just needs a puppy. So this is coming from Blink. Cool. We'll go out and read these articles. These are the toys. Now, I will say, as much as I... I Freaking hate Revelation and all the drama around it. The Masterverse toys are pretty nice. They are very nice. I agree. That being said, I'm not buying them because it reminds me of how much I hate. He the won't. Show. Even though I, I'm probably he's not going to, but I might buy the Scareglow because I personally like it. Yeah. Oh, Scareglow was in the show for all of like. I know, but minutes. the toy is awesome. The toys are cool, and I'm, I'm looking at some of the Masterverse coming up, and they have a whole other line. It's like a, a new Eternia line where. They have like the son of Skeletor and um, they have a whole bunch of new snake men. And it actually well, looks let's talk cool. for a minute here, Mattel. You know what would be a great addition? A fantastic addition. Uh, She-Ra figures. She's coming. I know. But the rest of the characters with brushable hair. Not the molded shit you keep trying to pass off. You can do it. You did it for PowerCon. So I know you can do it. Just suggestion. They should have given He-Man a brushable loincloth. <laughs> you think it's a loincloth. There's that meme where it's not actually a loincloth. <laughs> anyway, with the full power of Grayskull unleashed inside him. See? <laughs> as Adam gains a combination of primal rage and all the power in the universe, the raw fury, the brutal strength, the unbridled speed of 10 He-Men. Right. It's like having 10 He-Men inside you all at once. So, okay, this sounds like a dream come true. I'll keep going. There are not <laughs> enough caves to have 10 He-Men inside you all at once. But without the sword of power to temper these mighty forces, Savage He-Man is all strength with no intellect to control it. So we're going Hulk. Mm-hmm. We're going Incredible Hulk here. The barbarian version of our hero leaves his friends wondering if Adam is truly present within the transformed beast as he tears through Eternia in an uncontrolled frenzy. He's a problematic wait, white wait, male. Wait, wait, wait. So we have the power of Grayskull unleashed inside him as he tears Eternia a new asshole. <laughs> just like, anyway. Adam Hole. I'm sorry. He tears Eternia a new Adam Hole. Uh, luckily, Adam at his core possesses innate compassion, humility, goodness that rivals the power of Grayskull itself. Only the Prince of Eternia could wield such power and be both willing and able to relinquish, relinquish, relinquish it, it once the battle is won. Let's talk again about how it's a mantle now and we're wondering, we're wondering if Andra is going to be the next He-Man. We, oh my God, we joked about this. We joked we about this. We still could be wrong. We could, look. We, we don't have, have any information on this. No, the, the inside information stopped coming once there was backlash. Mm-hmm. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. It, it was like that got turned they off. They locked it down quick. They locked it down real quick. But uh, the actress that plays Andre, I don't remember her name off the top of my head. She said that they made her say the I have the power by the power of Grace Gold line during the audition. And we joked, we're like, oh, what are they going to do? Have Tila become the new sorceress and Andra become the new champion well, by they, the end of it. Are you allowed to fully unleash the power of Grayskull inside of a woman? I mean, doesn't that get you put on a list? <laughs> I don't know. Does it? Is it possible to? Un- oh, never mind. I'm not good. At- I'm stopping now. So, uh, <laughs> you, you don't, because I, I don't think you want someone tearing through. Um, never mind. I'm going to Tearing stop. her a new hole? Yeah. Um. But hey, you know, this is what's going to happen, most likely. I don't I know. I want to know why we're talking about how he lost intellect. I mean, he looks like he's having an intelligent conversation with Orko as Orko's wedding himself. In that no, one. he's not. He's threatening Orko, and Orko is pissing his... Well, actually, I don't think Orko <laughs> wears pants. I don't think Orko wears pants. Orko just looks like shit. So, okay, so he and Orko are back. I, I, I'm not surprised. I figured they would bring Orko back. And they. I, I don't think they'd be allowed to just like absolutely kill these characters off because the, they would, Mattel would not 
like that very much. The problem is, is there there has been so much damage done to this, not mm -hmm. because of even what happened, but the drama around it and, you know, Kevin Smith and his panel and a lot of people are pissed off and they caught him lying and all this other shit yeah. that a lot of people have just checked out. Like, they're not going to come back for part two. This no. is like The Last Jedi. Like, okay. People were so pissed off about The Last Jedi, they did not come out for Solo, they did not come back for The Rise of Skywalker, which tried to walk stuff back yeah. badly, and I don't know if they're going to come out for this. I now, don't either. I mean, they might watch it, but some people are just like, they're done. They're done. I talked to several people this last weekend who were just like, yeah, when that happened, I was just done. Now, there actually is another He-Man show out there that's pretty damn good, mm -hmm. and I did not expect it to be good. In fact, we made fun of that one, too, because we were like, oh, my God, Ram, ma'am, come on. It's actually pretty good. And, it, it, and what I liked about it was it wasn't like these common modern-day takes where, you know, we have to elevate – women, female characters, and lower the men and make sure they're stupid or, you know, assholes and you hate them. Like, the original He-Man show, Tila, you know, was, like, his friend, and she was up there right there with him. Yeah. And the 2000 and, and uh, 2000, what do they call them? 2000 X one now? 2002, 2003. I, yeah, yeah, they call it 2000 X, whatever they're calling it, whatever it was. I say 2002 or whatever. But um, in that one, she helped, was right up there with him, and nothing was, no one was lowered or elevated. It's like, in this one, everybody seems to be, you know, as a team, and no one's looking down on the other person. And I really, really appreciate that because I'm so effing tired. I have a daughter and a son. I'm so tired. I'm not going to tell my daughter she's better than my son because she's a woman. And I'm not going to tell my son he's less than somebody or he's better than somebody because he's a man. I, I, I mean, I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna tell my kids they're better than other kids because they're no, awesome. No, we're not. We're not telling our kids that because that's <laughs> not okay. I know everybody's a winner. Everybody I refuse. Gets a no, I, I refuse to tell my kids they're better or you know. My mom always said, "You're you're not better than anyone else, but you're not beneath anyone else either." Anyway, anyway, so yeah, this dropped on Netflix. Uh, Geet. Oh, what? there's a place that likes to troll people. Yeah, so let's look at some of the reactions, of course. I would love to. You know, the official Masters. Now, this is not two hours ago. 49 likes on the official Masters account. That's not good. That's not good. People talking about the toys. Notice how they got rid of He-Man from the title. Uh, I can't wait. Did you see this? Here are the toys. Uh, here we go. Here it starts. <laughs> Pile of shit, 182. Oh, boy. Um, couldn't agree more. Not even going to watch it. Uh, cool. Now He-Man fans can see him get killed a third time. Nice. I think I'll pass. Better be better than part one because that was not a good way to start a so-called love letter to the fans. Agreed. I'm not kidding. It pissed off so many fans. It did. It made the CGI version, the one everyone thought they were going to hate, mind you, the better version. It's all true. All yeah. of it. Don't even care. Adam will stay in a coma for about five episodes and He-Man will show up in the last episode, Savage or Modern. That would not surprise me at all. Mm -mm. If they're like, oh, okay, we're going to have one episode of Savage He-Man before you know, Adam's like, I need to I need to die now, so we have to pass pass Savage He Man. Savage He Man needs to enter Andra, so Andra can tame him. That's right. And then Andra's going to be the champion. No, we don't, we don't know. know that. We're just throwing it out I'm there. Just, but the fact, some of the things that were said, it makes you kind of wonder. Anyway, uh, eventually, do you plan to have He Man on your on your He Man show? Right. Uh, it sucks that Adam He-Man only appeared in every episode, so we got so far this <laughs> miniseries. Well, yeah, in a mm. very diminished capacity. I'm just here to read the comments. Me too. Continuation of Teela's story. I think she should be the main part of the art at the end. It's her story. Oh, it is her story, but it they is. should have been honest about it. Oh, thank you. This is the one you really should watch. It's Miles Yes, better. go watch that one. If you can find, I think, is it, is it on YouTube or, or somebody, somebody has, has, it. has it somewhere? Um, I think, I want to say the account is Dark Child. Has all the episodes. Yeah, they've like they scrubbed get to take this it one. Down yet? I don't know. They've scrubbed this one from like you can't buy the DVDs or anything. I was gonna anymore. link in the DVDs for people to buy them. They, they don't seem to be in print anymore. Yeah, very curious. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you will like our new He-Man. You're not gonna watch that that uh old He-Man. You can't tell me what to do, Kevin Smith. You're not my mom. Yeah, and I I'm sorry, even the animation. My mom's cooler. Your mom is cool. Uh the animation on this is held up pretty well. I mean, for being a 20-year-old show, it it still looks really good. It looks like something that just could have been made a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's really, it, it really good. It holds up really well. Um, I like this one. Wait, wait, go back up. I was reading. No wonder you guys split it until you canceled it before it even aired. Well, my canceled tweet is null and void now. Uh, it's been canceled. Extremely excited for this. 
Uh, it's got to have this scene. Oh my God, it will. <laughs> this is. That would be, I would like that. Though. This is Adam taking control of He-Man. Or is that what he's injecting He-Man into? He's Andra? injecting. <laughs> oh my God, this is Adam transferring the power of He-Man to Andra. There you go. Hey, yeah, yeah. I got told I was getting the power transferred once, and then I ended up with a kid. <laughs> I'm not even feeling anxious. <laughs> Why are you anxious? Yes. Okay. There's always a 10 episode limited thing. Ooh, I forgot about this. Um, can't wait, but I hope you find a way to bring He-Man back because I can't take the fanboy sobbing. Um, <laughs> what about the fangirl sobbing? We don't sob. We just slap you. Round two. Lots of alcohol. Pretty much. I don't give a shit. I mean, I'll tell you he the truth. doesn't, I, I really don't. And it's it kills me because normally, like, I'd be all over those Masterverse toys. And I might pick up some of the ones that are not related to Revelation later because they are coming out mm -hmm. with other, you know. He characters. refuses to buy anything Revelation related. That's that's 100% true. Yeah, fuck it. Because all it's going to do, I'm going to look at it and it's going to remind me of all the drama around this. And you know what's you know? interesting, though? Our store, our Walmart got the toys in and the animated show sold a lot of the toys um initially the, the the netflix one did before the show came out and then they just they didn't they didn't move anymore um but the one that they keep loading the pegs for they keep blowing out are the origins yeah uh origins so well, they're running the same problem they had with the 2002 where it's all he-man and Skeleton. right well they ours cleared those out yeah um and now when they when they put the new cases of origins up they're gone like i was there the other day they were already gone yeah well because they're all they only have like one of each character in a case or one or two of it. but the thing is this time i will give mattel props are actually smarter like he-man and skeletor come in their own separate cases i think yeah so you so get like a case so of he-man case of skeletor yeah unfortunately you know. stores don't they might not be aware of how it went down last time, so they overbuy and that's on them. But yeah, because they had way more He-Man and Skeletors. Yeah, so there we go, guys. Uh, very mixed reaction. I, you know, I mean, we kind of figured they would walk some of this stuff back, but um, you know, in between part one and part two, we got a a an unexpectedly good He-Man series. Now, what's interesting to me is they're both on Netflix, right? And the yeah. mandates, mandates were in play for both of these shows. Yes. And we got told that the the, re, the, the problem with the um, revelations was because of mandates and they had to fit within guidelines. Well, yes. they would have had the same guidelines for the other show. So explain to me why the other show doesn't act like the revelations does. If they, it, There's a lot of female characters. They're very prominent characters. Um, there's a lot of diversity. Um but it's done really well and it's balanced. Why do we have the shit show? Why'd they ruin Tila? Because one creative team gives a shit. Uh, their primary goal is to make a good show. And I think the creative team of Revelation, their primary... Arrogant. Arrogance and just cashing in on nostalgia. Well, I think Kevin Smith shooting his mouth off constantly didn't help. That either. did not help. He just would not shut up. Yeah, yeah. Um, meanwhile, I love how I love how the other He-Man show just kind of flew in under the radar, and nobody had any expectations for this. They were no. like, oh god. We honestly know. thought it was going to be. Terrible. I thought it was going to be terrible, but it was like. But then you know when I, I heard they had you know some of the people from Troll Hunters working on it, I'm like, I don't know. It might be good. At least this one, they were they were upfront. They're like, this is a complete reboot. This is a complete reimagine. You know, so you don't have any expectations going in. Whereas with Revelation, it was like, you know said originally this is a continuation of the filmation series and then they walked it back when it was very obvious a it, love letter to the fans my ass yeah a love was, letter to your fan fiction that's pretty much it um yeah. real quick if you haven't checked out the video of the toys if you go check that out um you can see that you know he, you you hold up against an origins figure i do and did you bring any classic figures for this one or no uh no just the origins okay they're he actually size. he actually does a review where he actually takes them out, shows you how they move, talks about them in relation to the origins and how they're different, um, and you know what you know why he liked this and why you know what yeah, he liked I, about the origins, etc. I did. I got to I got to play with toys. No, actually, I did. I mean that that right there should tell you, like I'm I'm really picky about my toys. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. I, I am. I am. No, you don't say. I am. But I refuse to buy any of the revelation. But I will buy the the. CGI He-Man toys and I actually enjoy them. If I find other ones of other characters, like I haven't seen Trapjaw yet, I, I will probably buy him too. I like the Sea Mountain was kind of cool, but you didn't want that one. No. They're, I mean, it, it's cool. These, I still they, kind of want the Flock Panther, but I think 40 bucks is really high. That's very high. Yeah. Everything's, I'm not paying 40 bucks for that. Well, they want 20 bucks for the 90s Beast Wars now, and they were $10. They're $22. Toys. Oh, they're $22. Bucks. Or $22.99 or something. I mean, they're cool. 
I, I mean, I, 97 because it's Walmart. I like Beast Wars. Uh, a lot of people I know they were kind of divided. I like them. Beast Wars too. I I watched it. Yeah, we used to. It was. It, well, I watched it before I met you. You know who worked on Beast Wars? Who? Larry Dottilio. What well, makes total sense? Who worked on He Man and was the co-creator of She-Ra. Yes, so a very, very good show. And uh, I know the fandom was kind of divided over that first, too. They're like, no, we want cars, not monkey. You know, truck, not monkey. So anyway, we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.